Just wait for a few more of you guys to um, come on. So just send you a spare of the moment big one. So just show you how I do it. <clears throat> I see I haven't done a live stream since last October, which is pretty lame. So um, wait for a few more, and I'll show you I'll show you my my way of doing it. It's a rig I trust, and um, just like how it works. It's quite a compact rig. So um, hello Anthony, how you doing, buddy? It's a nice compact rig, same as a pulley panel already, but you got the um, obviously up and over. She's got a longer length trace hook snood, so it's um, I think it's ideal for Ray and all, and it's one of my um, favorite rigs really. So um, anyway, I'll make a start, guys. All right, hi Jay. Right, what I'm using, and I use a lot for my rigs, is um, seventy pounds. Hi Darren, seventy pound. Asso, it's a shock leader one, but I prefer it. It's resistant, you know, ties decent knots, and that's my choice. So everyone's different, but that's what I use for a lot of my rig bodies. So it's a two foot length, okay. And what we're going to do, I'm going to grab hold of it. So we're going to use a breakaway little bait clip, okay. What we're going to use, so obviously tie that on. So, if you can see what I'm doing there, just obviously through wrap around about four times back through the hole. So, going through, and then I go back through the hole a couple times again, okay. Okay, put in. Wet the knot. If I can get it in there, sorry. Fingers and thumbs tonight. Right. Put it really tight. Pull up the tag. Make sure it's right down there. And make sure it's all wet. So that's on there, okay? Hi Lawrence. Uh, hi Mike. So not for do I see some people when they cut the tags off, usually cut them pretty close. I usually leave a mil or a two mil little tag, okay? Right next, little bead. So we're gonna slide the bead up now. Hopefully you guys can see it all okay. So, like that. Right, the next bit. It's a bit fiddly, these are, but I like them. So you've got the Gemini. Gemini pulley bead. Okay, you can obviously have a pulley beads, but hi, Rich. These are the ones I like to use. And then you've got the breakaway imp. Okay. So when you put your pulley bead on, make sure, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little tag there, the little offshoot tag on the imp. Make sure that's facing up. Okay. So now we'll slide that down to the trace, followed by another bead. Which I can get on there. I'm pretty colour coded, so so at the minute, this is what you got. And the beads sit quite nice into the uh Gemini ones. Okay. Right, next, standard swivel, and tie that yeah, tie that on the end. Same again, for, you know, four or five turns around, back through, and then back through the loop a couple of times, and then pull it to. Make sure it's wetened. Stop any friction. Pull it in. You can get the um, a lot of the carp lads use them. 
they use the um, knot pullers, which are pretty good. So that's really safe. Once again, there's a little bit of a tag on it. And that's that. So at the minute, we've got a swivel, going down to a two foot, 70 pound trace. Bead, pulley stop with the imp already on tangled onto it. I don't know if, is that a bit out of focus? I don't know if you can see that or not. So it's out of focus. Another bead into your thing, right? Then, what I've got now, high fill, it's 25 pound amnesia. It's up to you what you use. I prefer 25 pound. I think 30 is a little bit too much. 15 and all not good enough. So yeah, 25 pound. Now this is a four foot trace. Okay, so now tie that onto the swivel. Once again, four or five turns around, back through the hole. Hopefully you guys can see it. Back through a couple more times again. Some people do it three, four times through back again. Pull it in slightly. So I don't know if you guys can see that, right? Wet it, slide it down. Use me, use me now, just a little bit. Make sure it's there. And then, uh, once again, leave a couple mil on the tag, okay? So, for those just tuning in, we've got, whoa, where we are? Bait clip, the tip, bead, Gemini pulley bead, uh, breakaway imp, another bead, two foot or 70 pound trace, going up to swivel, and then we've got four foot main hook trace, okay? So, what I'm gonna do in a minute, just make sure I am right in my lengths and the measurements here in a minute. Oh, sorry. All fingers and thumbs tonight, guys. Hope everyone's eating well. Sadly, everyone's got to go back to work tomorrow if you've got to go back to work, which is nice. So, right, okay. So I'm just going to, I think I've over shot that mark earlier. Right. 4-0, um, Sakuma, extra mantas. Personally, I think, think they're probably one of the best hooks on the market. Highly rate him. Right, um, where are my tires? Right. right, as you guys can see, straight hook, yeah? Right, get hold of it with pliers. And what we're going to do is, I don't know if you guys can put that, is it offset now? That will, that will. Definitely get you a few extra fish just to offset, okay? Now you can do this with a panel, or you can I find them. Get your bait stops, slide a bait stop up, then a sequin you can put on as well, okay? And just use one hook. Looks like you got a good rig making chill room. Yeah, bait freezers in there, mate. It's a, uh, I don't know if he's scanning around here a bit, it's a uh, bit carnage at the minute. Got a pair of rods I'm rebuilding. Um, and then all the other mixture of stuff back there, yeah, but it's uh, it's a pretty, uh, it's all right. And I think, I know I'm dropping off the, the things here in a minute, but. Just in case none of you haven't seen them for a while. They are about, so just ask around. Right, anyway, back to what I was doing. Right. So, like I said, you can also put a rubber bait stop up there, one sequin or a couple of sequins, whatever you want, put your hook on, and then slide your bait up. I mean, it's up to you how you do it. The top hook. I don't usually um, offset, okay? So I'm going in that way, guys, okay? So there's a point, I'm going in through that way. So I want the line to lay at the back, okay? Pull it down, grab the offset hook, 
once again a few turns and then back up through again make sure you wet your hook put it down wet it again try not to slide down and stick it in your hands oh, you've got loads of your neck <laughs> yeah it's a few around man I mean it's not as many as it should be I mean I know some of the bait guys down there have been really struggling to get it and especially with the May algae bloom happening everywhere so it's a bit of a nightmare so anyway, right the hook's on so what we're going to get is this so if anyone's just tuned in again bait clip bead pulley bead another bead swivel then we got I said four foot trace and down to the hooks. So the principle is I'll grab a weight a minute, two seconds. Right, there we go. Right, one of Dad's leads. So I'm just going to slide that down a minute. So that's the principle, put the ping up. So sorry about the quality of guy, hopefully you can see it right. So, right, let's put it down. Oh, I've got line everywhere. Right, where's the bottom hook? Put that onto the imp, if I can grab it. Not easy, uh, so there we go. Right, okay, that's the principle of it. I hope you can understand that, okay? And it's a pretty, I mean, I'm gonna come back a little bit there. I don't know if you guys can see that but that is a two foot rig okay two foot rig so when obviously when it hits the bottom hooks will slide off you then got a nice four foot trace your hooks are away from your weight so if you're using a gripper or anything like that um if a ray does come in it's not going to prick itself or something like that also the best thing about a pulley which you you don't really hear many people talk about it, and I have said it in previous streams. A bit like carp fishing, anti um, so it's just a bit like a anchor rig, really. So, fish will come in, take the bait as they go off with it instantly. You're locking right up because it's going to stop and you get a sudden jerk, so that is going to drive that hook home, also. So, that's um, that's the up and over pulley. So that's probably one of my favorite rigs really. But like I said, you can use one hook, two hooks, um, bait stop it, put some sequins on it. It's an absolute cracking rig and it's nice and compact. Cast it out there and you know, it's an absolute uh, gem of a rig. And it's nice for casting as well. I'll also show you in a minute, if there's anyone who likes a bit of a uh, mulleting, which I'm guessing there is on the site. So, get the riggies out. As you can see, I've got a few here. This is, um, there we go. You don't see very many people spinning for a mullet these days. But this is one of my favorite rigs. And it's good for golden gray as well in the surf. Bit of ragworm on, so all it is, I'll, have to, I'll do a diagram one day or I'll just do a video on it. Just metal, metal tubing, bent around, little spoon, a few beads, turn around again. Then we've got a figure of eight loop for the line, bit of shrink tubing. Then you've got another hook, and that is just a sliding hook with shrink tube as well. Okay, so when you put your ragworm on, so there's, there's the main hook, you put your ragworm on there, slide it up. You can lock it in place with that hook and that is an absolute belting mullet rig for your rivers and all like that not a lot of people use it but it is um it is a cracking rig so um i'll do i'll show you how to do it one day i'm gonna get five minutes spare i'll do it this is like i said spare the moment um video um any question just give it a shout but um i think it's all 
pretty explanatory that one is but yeah like I said it's a cracking rig the up and over never let me down I don't I can't remember if I've ever I don't think I've ever had a tangle in it when I've taken it up chisel I've never had a tangle with it but it's pretty good um, one thing I will say is like I said with the offset hooks and all if you're fishing somewhere a bit stony take a file with you it's always worth taking a file make sure your hooks are sharpened each time and uh you know, a blunt hook won't catch any fish, but a nice sharp one will. So, anyhow, hopefully the that was all right. Okay, well, I'm hoping to get back at live streaming again in a, in a couple of three weeks. I haven't been it for ages. I'm having another pair of rods built. So, um, yeah, make you some Darren. <laughs> I've never barely got time to do my own. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and. Uh, Take care, guys, and I'll see you in a few weeks. And if I can do another uh, one of the mullet rigs in a uh, slow retrieving the mullet rig. Yeah, it's not a very fast one, mate. It's a cracking... Um, the mullet rig is a cracking rig. And it's something I've seen on, I think it's like a 1980s DVD. Um, not a rude one, I must add. But it's a 1980s um, mullet video. And I thought, really? These guys were just spinning away really slow. And they were catching, you know... Um, thin lips and thick lips and all and uh, cracking size as well so I thought oh why not so down in Cornwall we've got a nice little beach called Lelant very sandy bit of surf there and you get the golden greys swimming in all the surf and also I thought I'd give it a go I've had a few golden greys off it I've had a few um, thick lips off it it's a cracking rig worth a go and I'll show you how to make it but um, for now have a good evening guys and I'll catch you in uh, in a few weeks, when I'll hopefully be live streaming, like, streaming for some uh, Formback Ray down in Cornwall somewhere. So, uh, anyway, take care, guys. Have a good evening, and I'll see you all soon. Cheers, guys.